guys, so I finished another book and it's book review time. So, even though I'm, I'm not over it, but I'm less fuming about the title. But when I bought it, I was actually fuming. I was just, don't talk to me. I was like, to my, to my best friend, I was like, don't talk to me. Um, nah, nah. I don't agree with the title, but it was a brilliant book, hence the title. I didn't like it, the title. Um, but yeah, this is the book. <laughs> yeah, and all she did was laugh at me because I was fuming about the title. That's not very nice, is it? <laughs> So it's called Cinderella is Dead and it's about Cinderella. Um well Sophia and Erin and Sophia knows everything about the story off by heart like me. Um and she doesn't want to be chosen and she doesn't want to be chosen by a man and get married. Um, she doesn't want to go to the ball at all. Um, not when she's afraid that the girl she loves might be chosen too. So they end up running away. So Sophia and Erin have these feelings for each other. Both of them don't want to be chosen at the ball or don't want to go to the ball at all. Um, pushed beyond breaking by a society that demands, denies everything she is, Sophia sets out on a journey that will re remark her world into one where she gets to choose. So... Considering I didn't like the title, this is a brilliant book. No, I would actually give it five stars. And um, this isn't the only book by this author I've got. Because, you know, <laughs> I'm getting through them slowly. <laughs> so this technically is the third book of 2022, which means I'm on my fourth book. Um... And I want to um, eventually, I want to actually read that the whole way through from Wednesday is when I started it to the 30th of December. <coughs> <coughs> so yeah, that is my book review on Cinderella is Dead. Hate the title, but brilliant book. <laughs>